November 1, 2025, Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and welcome to 121 Point Mike Ground School. I still like VORs, and I find the challenge and complexity more fun than simply following a magenta line on a screen. I also like knobs and buttons, and I miss the old cell phones that had a button for everything. But anyway, how do you know if your VOR is any good? Well, that's what this video is about, and there are some elements that you're going to need to know here for your test, for sure. I've seen it on pretty much all of them. First of all, you're going to use your VOR for instrument flight, and then it needs to be checked every 30 days. Check the VOR every 30 days and sign the logbook. Check, please, and sign every 30 days. 15% gratuity is included. Okay, so how do you do this? Well, first check the logbook and see if it's been signed off in the last 30 days. If it has, well, you're good for IFR flight. If not, you're going to have to check and sign it off, and there are several ways that you can do this. VOR test facilities, or VOT on the charts, uh, they send out a signal that you can use to check the accuracy of your VOR. Now, here's how I remember what the signal should be. Have you ever flown in a Cessna 180 from? No, you haven't, and no one else has either. Cessna doesn't make a 180 from. They make a 182. So you turn your VOR to 180, and you should see a 2 indication on the flag. I bet that sticks with you. Of course, you could also use a signal from an approved repair facility, uh, so call your repair shop and have them shoot the signal for a bit uh, if you want to go that route. Uh, there's paperwork on his end, so you probably can't do it for less than a case of beer. You might also do an airborne check, a ground check, or a cross check. These are free, and they can be done on your schedule. An airborne check is done over a specific spot on the ground, uh, or in the air near an airport, you can do it on a certified radial from a VOR. Now, here's the deal you must know. You can have plus or minus four degrees if it's a ground check, or plus or minus six degrees if it's an airborne check. If the test exceeds these limits, then you can't use your VOR for IFR flight. Now, how do you find such places to do these checks? You can check the things formerly known as airport facility directories, now chart supplements. Here's one, and here's another. The easiest way to do a check, though, is with a cross check. You can do that anywhere, so long as you have two independent VOR setups, but they can share the same antenna. You dial in the same radial from the VOR, and you're good to go as long as your two needles don't deviate more than four degrees between them. So it's 182 to the VOT. You have four degrees on the ground for a cross check. You have uh, a cross has four points and an X marks the spot on the ground. Um, and so that's how I remember how many degrees you're allowed. Cross checks for four points, X marks the spot on the ground. And you get six degrees airborne. I don't have a nice way to remember that one though, so you'll have to come up with a mnemonic on your own. What we need is a way to remember to spell mnemonic. If you can't do any of those things above, you may also find a prominent ground feature along an airway, preferably at least 20 miles from the VOR, you can maneuver over that spot and then check the radial that way. Kind of like this. Okay, so you've done your checks. Now what? You log it, and here's how. You need to know this stuff for your instrument and commercial tests at a minimum. You record the date, the place, the bearing error, and you sign it. If a repair station sends the calibrated signal, then the repair station uh, certificate holder is going to do the signing for you. Date place, error, and sign. Date, place, error, and sign it. That's it. This is all covered in 91171. Now I said in a previous video way back when that I would go in order on the regs, but it'd take forever to get here and I wanted to do it now, and so I'm skipping around a lot. The regulations aren't really in a chronological or useful order necessarily anyway, so that's how you know that your VOR signal is good. Check the logs, do the checks, plus or minus four or six degrees. Cessna doesn't make a 180 from. Date, place, error, and sign. And that's it. Well, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. That'll certainly help me out as we'll leave in a bunch of comments and engaging in lively discussions down below. I'm also on Patreon now, so you can check that link out down below. 
and thanks for staying with me on 121 or Ground Point Mike.